Hello friends! It is Tuesday afternoon. Uh, I am excited to be here as usual each week. It's our chance to stamp and get into a little happy stamping um, vortex and share some new projects and just get excited and enjoy connecting together. So if you if it's your first time joining in on my page, welcome, welcome. Each week on Tuesday afternoon, I try to share some projects, um, to share what's going on in the Stampin' for Fun world, say hello. This week we are February the 16th, 2021. And here in Markham, there's been quite a lot of snow, so we've got a lot of snow piled up everywhere. And uh, don't know how it is where you are, but it's a good day to be cooped up at home and do some stamping and get some stamping inspiration. What do you guys think? Great, people are joining in. Hi, Allison. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Joy. Oh, Gail's on. Hi, Gail. So welcome as you're all joining in. Um, even if you're joining in on the replay, I love to read your comments and answer any questions you have. I love being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator because the best thing is I get to share something I love. And I love that each it's a snow day where we can just hang out and watch videos, right? Yeah. So no, it's just something I enjoy doing and I feel so glad to have you guys um, enjoying the journey with me. So I've been a demonstrator now for over 13 years. We're getting to probably 13 and a half years, which is a lot longer than I expected. But the best thing about it is uh, the amazing people I get to meet. And I don't know which is tied for first place, but getting to buy and enjoy lots of Stampin' Up! product is a huge plus for me. Um, I can just say I, I'm buying it for my business. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how entirely true that is because there's quite a few stamps that I literally buy because I just love them. Oh, Bonnie, lots of snow there in Midland. I miss seeing you, Bonnie. Um, Midland was where we did our ladies retreat weekends in the hotel up there. That's where I met Bonnie. Uh, but unfortunately, we haven't been doing our ladies retreat weekends up in Midland because of everything going on. But it's good to stay in touch. This is a great way that we can stay in touch. Okay, so there is a lot going on in the Stampin' for Fun world. So I'll probably forget a bunch of things. So if you're not part of my email newsletter list, make sure that you join. You can actually go to my blog, stampinforfun.ca, and I think there's like a little button. It says subscribe. I don't really know what it says, or sometimes a pop-up comes up. So if you're not on my email newsletter list, that's the number one thing you have to do so that you don't miss any of the news. I try to put the most important things in the email newsletter list, um, but I do try to share announcements and things like that each week here as well. Oh, it's a chilly in Alberta too, right? Yeah. Okay. So, oh, oh, Pamela's glad to be here. She just finished a stressful meeting. Yes, we all sometimes have those stressful meetings. That's why we need our stamping. That's why we need our creative outlet. We. That's why we need our stamping girlfriends and our crafty girlfriends so that we can just uh, unwind and enjoy our time together. So let's do that. Let me flip the camera over. I have a lot to share, um, but I think it might be easier if I show you and then that way the things I show you are the right way. Today's an exciting day. It's Tuesday. It's the third Tuesday of the month, which means it's our monthly Team Stick Stampers party. Um, I call it a team celebration. So that's why I don't know if you can see I have my little Team Stick shirt on. I'm getting ready for our Team Stick party tonight. So any of you that um, are not yet part of the Team Stick Stampers and you're just curious what it's about, if you're not already um, you know, part of the Stampin' Up! family, let me know because you can come and check out one of our team parties. Um, no strings attached, just to check out the vibe of our group. We have a very open, friendly, um, positive group. So uh, if you wanna come check out our Zoom meeting tonight, I don't even like to call it a meeting because it's more, it's more like us. Yeah, like a celebration. So uh, let me know if you wanna join in and I will certainly send you the invite. Okay, so let's flip it over here and uh, we'll get into the announcements. I've got a lot of exciting announcements to share. Hopefully I remember them here. Sorry about this big. You know what this paper is from? This paper is from, I don't know, two stamp camps ago. Um, 
the pandemic was on, but we were still able to kind of stamp in my garage. So every person got a brand new sheet of paper because I didn't want people to share, right? So it has been used like once, but then I, I didn't want to throw it out because I knew I could use it again. So it's been sitting in my closet for I don't know how long. I'm sure any germs that were on it have now died. So I'm taking it out now. Okay, let's see if we can get rid of that shadow there. And let's, uh, let's share some of the Stampin' for Fun news. Okay, one news that I wanna share is, I will uh, get into it a little bit further, but there are some new products that, uh, if you're on my newsletter list, you'll have seen these new products. It's the Hey Chick and Hey Birthday Chick specials. So uh, you may have noticed the Hey Birthday Chick, it is in the spring mini catalog or the January to June mini catalog, but they've just released coordinating dies to go along with it. So you can buy the die separately if you already own the stamp set, or um, you can purchase them together at a 10% discount. The other thing is, and we're actually gonna use this stamp set today, is uh, this Hey Chick stamp set. Do any of you guys recognize it? It's actually a celebration item from, gosh, I don't know, maybe 2017, quite a while ago. And I know you've heard me say that they never bring back celebration items. Um, they pretty much never do. So, But this is an exception. They brought it back many years later, not just by itself. You can buy it by yourself. Some of you may already have it from uh, celebration 2017 or whenever it was. But during this promotion, they have announced um, and released coordinating dies for it, which is very very exciting. We're actually going to use it today. Is it 2017? Yeah. So it's totally up to you if you want to purchase the bundle or if you want to just buy one or the other. If you already have the stamp set, you can just buy the dies by itself. So that's one promotion that's going on right now. And I'm telling you, I don't know about you, but this guy is my favorite. He's my favorite. If you are on my email newsletter list, you would have seen what I thought about his hair. That is awesome hair. So um, I love that guy. So that's the Hey Chick. This is the Hey Birthday Chick. This guy's here again with a cupcake. Okay, so that's one announcement I had for you guys. Uh, the next announcement I have is that celebration, we are nearing the end of celebration. It is a big sale where Stampin' Up! gives out free things. And we don't want to miss any of the free things. Um, but the one that I want to highlight especially is getting free designer series paper. So I have, do I have all five packs? Let me see, one, two, three, four. There's supposed to be five packages. Oh yes, here we go. Okay, so five packages of designer series paper. You can get absolutely free during celebration. And what's special about this paper is that they are in all the in color, uh, sorry, not in color, the color families. So this one is the Regals pack. This is one that's the neutrals. Um, this is the latest in colors, the brights and the subtles. So what's fun is that these are not yet released designs. They will be coming out in the annual catalog, but if you want to get them free and you want to get them first, all you have to do to take advantage of Celebration is take advantage of the starter kit. So the starter kit is a kit that allows you to get um, $165 of whatever product you want. You get to choose. So you can choose the cut and emboss machine, which is $163, or you can choose like 20 prod products as long as it doesn't add up to more than 165 and you only pay 135 and who loves no shipping how many of you wish you could get free shipping well you know how you can get free shipping is you get the starter kit and during celebration you can get these five brand new packs of designer series paper absolutely free on top of that, you get a free paper pumpkin. On top of that, any future orders you place, you get 20% off. So there's absolutely no reason to, there's no reason to not take advantage of the starter kit right now, in my opinion. Um, but I just don't want you to miss it because this uh, celebration offer ends February the 28th, which is maybe two weeks away. Maybe a little more, I'm not sure, but it's gonna go by fast. I already can't believe that we're into February. Hi, Susan. Oh, it's still freezing in Saskatchewan. I bet it is. I bet it is. 
So what are the perks of uh, getting the starter kit besides that you get a 20% discount on your future orders, besides the fact that on your starter kit it's free shipping, besides the fact you get five full packs of designer series paper, which is an over $8 value, you get the perks of being part of my Team Stick Stampers. So I have perks for girls that um, purchase the starter kit from me, and one of these perks is starting, I, I'm always adding and upgrading and changing the perks. And one of the perks that my team, direct team members are going to get, those that buy the starter kit from me, they are going to get a bundle of 12 tutorials every month free. Um, so I don't know, some of you may have seen if you follow some of these other wonderful talented demonstrators we are collaborating together for the global creative project have you guys heard about it i already had someone reaching out to me and saying hey i see you're part of the global creative project tell me all the details and i'm like yes yes i'm so sorry i haven't had time to blog about it yet um, but i'm super excited to be part of this talented team um, i feel so honored that they want me to join them we've got people like Ange mckay also a canadian alana wharf another canadian but we've got some uh, rock star americans like barb mullican kelly atchison and these wonderful talented demonstrators from the UK, Mitsu Crafts. Have you ever seen their stuff? Oh my gosh, blow me away. Uh, Martin Stone from the UK, Donna Gray from Australia. Anyway, so I am super excited to be um, um, crafting with them. And each month, each of us will be developing a tutorial and we'll be putting it together in a bundle. So, and each month it'll focus focus and highlight one suite. So we're starting in March and in March it will be the sand and sea suite, which is super gorgeous. Um, and so if you're interested in getting that bundle free, 12 amazing tutorials and each tutorial is written and has a video so it's pretty comprehensive so what you need to do is you purchase the starter kit from me and you will get that bundle free every month as long as you're a part of my team and then um, in March otherwise the cost is $22 for that month's bundle um, but you can get a deal and buy six months in advance. And then I think it's only 111, 112 or something like that. Um, if you buy six months in advance, or you can get that month's bundle free uh, with a $100 order. Okay, so that's kind of how it's going to work. Um, but I'm super excited that I get to give it to my direct team members. So those that purchase the starter kit from me will be privilege to uh, get these tutorials free. So I'm excited to be collaborating with all these fine, fine demonstrators and can't wait to show you what is happening. Um, okay, upcoming classes. So if you're on my newsletter list, you would have seen it is time to sign up for March classes. Let me put the registration link here. It is time, time, time. Registration deadline is always the first of the month, but the earlier you register, the better. The registration link is uh, bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y slash stampin' for fun March. Okay, so that's to sign up for my March classes as well as uh, I think my May stamp camp is on that list too. Okay, so my sweet and simple class, the value class, only $25. You get to make four cards. I cut everything for you. You use your own stamps and ink because everything is virtual now over Zoom. Um, but of course, you can add on the feature stamp set, which in March for sweet and simple will be the Hey Birthday Chick because we are doing birthday themed cards. Here's a little sneak peek of that one. And then of course, we've got my monthly technique class. Uh, we're going to be doing starburst techniques, different starburst techniques or different ways to do it. So this an example of one. Have you seen this paper before? I know I blogged about it yesterday. So this is brand new paper, not yet released to the general public. Again, there's another perk of getting the starter kit and being a, a team member is you get access to purchase new stuff first. Let me show you this paper. It is a limited time paper called Butterfly Bijou, and I've already been cutting it up and playing with it. But can you see the gorgeous colors in there? Let me see whether I can pull it out so that you can see. And of course, it's double-sided. It is so, so pretty, this paper. So um, 
You can't purchase it now unless you get it as a part of your starter kit. Okay, because that's that is available if you want to put it in your starter kit. Here's another one. Oh my gosh, so many texts coming through. Okay, look at this. Look at this gorgeous paper. I'll just show you a few sheets of it. So who's excited to get their hands on this paper? You are going to one. And of course, there's a coordinating stamp set. The coordinating stamp set will be available in the annual catalog. It's kind of like a sneak peek. You can get it early. Look at this one. This is the one I used on the card because I was like, oh my gosh, I love, 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 love this. Okay. So anyway, that's a little sneak peek of the paper, which will be available for purchase starting for the general public starting, what are we, February? So I think it starts in maybe March. It'll be available. But if you want to get your hands on it now, join my team. And then you'll know that you'll also get those great uh, global tutorials bundles. Okay. Of course I can't get this back in. Here we go. Okay. Okay. I had to show you that. So that's technique class. You can register right here. And then uh, what other classes do I have coming up? Oh, creating for Christ. I didn't print out a flyer for that one. Um, but that it's kind of been a tradition that we do Creating for Christ each year. Uh, it's a different kind of event because the focus is a little more inspirational. The focus is Christ-centered. For those of you that are Jesus followers, it's a great opportunity to take some time, especially, uh, I normally do it in February, but I just couldn't get kind of my brain wrapped around it. But I was thinking how perfect it's going to be for March because it'll be leading up to Easter. So it'll be a really nice time to take some time to reflect and um, do some inspirational stamping projects. So those are my events for March. Okay, are we ready to dive into the project today? Who remembers what our product of the month is? I love to just take one product and kind of use it in different ways all month. So let's see what today's project is about. And the product of the month is the adhesive sheets. Okay, so this is, you get six in a package. Um, so this is just one example. And so let me show you the other two. Uh, do I have the other projects with me? Uh, let's see here. No, no idea where they are. Lost, gone. Woohoo, bye bye. Okay, maybe it's here. I cleaned up my craft room this morning. It was very exciting. Yes, foam adhesive sheets. So the first week of February, do you remember I showed you guys this one where we. Uh, we're able to put the adhesive sheets behind that word there. Okay, and then this was last week's. Again, I used the letters and the um, adhesive sheets there. This was the playful alphabet. And of course, we put the Wink of Stella on there. Look at how it dresses it up. Okay, so that was last week. So let's see what we're going to dive in and make this week with the adhesive sheets. So I love picking a product of the month. It makes me play and enjoy and try new things. So I can tell you now, because during the week I was trying to think of different things to do with it. It doesn't work in a punch. I tried to like see if I could, you know, kind of punch it out, but it's too thick to go into the punch. And um, I think it was not, not, <laughs> I didn't want to force it. So too bad. I, I thought, oh, wouldn't it be cool if you could like punch out these things, but that didn't work. So unless someone has a magic trick for that, but I'm excited to share how I used it this week. So let's get started. Um, I know you guys love the mystery, so I'm just going to get started and we'll see where it goes. I'm going to use some smoky slate cardstock. Stampin' Up! has such a wonderful high quality cardstock. And on top of that, the colors are perfect. They are great and they coordinate with their inks and their embellishments. It just makes it so easy to craft when you have the right tools. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this at four inches by nine inches. Four inches by nine inches. So heads up, we're not making a card today. <laughs> okay, there we go, four inches by nine inches. Okay, so that's our piece of four inches by nine inches. And as I said, having the right tools is everything when you're crafting. It's so, it just makes everything so much easier, less frustrating. So my handy dandy trimmer is an important part of that. Um, 
Let's see. Okay, so then we are going to score. So I've on the long side, so this sort of landscape, I'm going to have it in landscape orientation. I'm going to score it at one and a quarter inches. Okay, one and a quarter inches, and then two inches, and three and three quarter inches, and four and a half inches. Hope I have that right. Let's take a look. Yep. Okay, so you can kind of see the, the score lines there. Okay, and so what we're going to do is kind of create like a little wrap. So actually, before I do that, I may as well cut the rest of my paper. And I'm going to use this brand new gorgeous paper, the Settles family and the fancy new designs that are part of the uh, celebration special the joining special. Okay, so we're going to cut this at three and three quarters. Okay, this is the Highland Heather. Um, and then three and three quarters. And then uh, I'm going to do one at one and a half inches here. Uh -huh. And then the other one, I believe at two and a half. So it's still three and three quarters on the one side and the other side is two and a half. Hello, Lisa. Okay, so we've got two pieces of designer series paper. Okay, so I think we're good there. I'll bring my trimmer back. It's so handy. If I forgot something, I can easily bring it back. Oh, here's that little pearl. Little pearl fell off. Okay, so I've kind of uh, folded on the score lines a little bit. I'm gonna use my Stamp and Seal Plus and I'm gonna apply adhesive just on this final flap here. Okay, does that make sense? So I've scored it, and on this flap here, I have put the Seal Plus adhesive. Seal Plus is uh, stronger than Seal, so because this is like a 3D item, I thought it was best to kind of use a strong adhesive. Okay, and then I'm gonna fold this down. Okay, fold this down and see, I've already scored it. So it creates kind of like a little pocket. Okay, and now it doesn't hurt to kind of stick your hands in there and make sure that that seam is pushed down. And then our designer series paper can go on just like that. Okay, so um, I think this one's okay. We'll stick this one down. I can use the seal. I kind of use the seal if it's just paper. Don't need quite as much of the strong stuff. Look at how fast and easy it is to make. Okay, and before I stick this one down, I'm going to tie a ribbon up here. Um, so I didn't check. I know this was back order before, but it's the gorgeous grape sort of taffeta ribbon, sheer ribbon. I'm just going to cut a piece. Where are my scissors? I was very careful this time to not clean up too much. Last week I had cleaned up too much. I couldn't find anything. I had to like literally dig it all out from the where I'd put it all the way to. <laughs> okay, so there we go. We're gonna put a little bit of ribbon here on this side. Hide the ends at the back. No one sees the back anyway. Okay, hopefully that's not too crooked there. Okay, and then I'm gonna tie a little bow. Okay, so when I tie a bow, I just take kind of two bunny ears, cross them over, and then kind of uh, push one of the loops through the other loop. Let me see if I can do it bigger for you. Oh, hi, Leslie. I haven't seen you in so long. It is gorgeous ribbon, Louise. It's so pretty, so sheer, so feminine. I was actually thinking this project would work pretty well as like a little Easter treat. Um, we're done Valentine's Day now, so I hope everyone's getting ready for their spring spring gifts and spring treats and spring cards. So I figured the next one we could get ready for was Easter. Although you don't have to use this project for Easter. It can just be a friend project. There we go. I'm just going to put a glue dot and put that ribbon there. 
We can't be chintzy with our ribbon. When it's so luscious, we just have to use it. We have to tie bows, we have to wrap presents with it. We just have to use that gorgeous ribbon. Okay, so there's another example of Stampin' Up! color coordination, right? The gorgeous grape sheer ribbon. It matches so lovely, goes so perfectly with the uh, Highland Heather designer series paper there. Okay, this adhesive I'm using are called glue dots. <laughs> Hi, Cynthia. Okay, so there we go. I think we can go ahead and put that on the top. Okay. Hope you can see where this project is going. We're making a little treat packet. Okay. And so uh, maybe I should show you what fits inside. I haven't finished decorating it yet. I haven't even started using the product of the month yet, which is those adhesive foam sheets. But it fits these little uh, Excel mints perfectly. Okay. I don't know if there's other candy or chocolate you could put inside. It just has to be about that size. See how it fits in there perfectly? Okay, so that could be like a little treat you'd give someone, but let's decorate it. We're gonna use our foam adhesive sheets. We're gonna use this cute Hey Chick stamp set. I had to write this down because the little flyer they gave us, they only showed us the bundle price, but you can buy the things separately. So I just put that on there to remind myself. Okay, um, so I'm using the Hey Chick stamp set. And we're, of course, going to use my favorite chick, the guy with the awesome hair. Let's stick him on our block. He's so awesome. The hair is so awesome. He makes me happy. Just looking at him makes me smile. Okay, so we are going to stamp this baby onto some uh, white, whisper white cards. Sorry, I still keep saying whisper white. It's now basic white cardstock. Let's... Uh, I don't know whether we need a piece quite so large. Let's see whether I've got, got a smaller scrap in here. Oh yeah, I think we can use that one, right? Okay, so we've got that. Let's stamp our awesome hair chicken. And I'm just gonna use the Memento black ink, which is what is recommended when we're using our blends markers, which I am going to use to color this awesome guy in. Look, look at him. He's awesome. The hair is awesome. The detail is awesome. This is, this is, a, this is a good guy here. Let's color him in. Um, okay, I tried not to tidy up. Did I tidy them up? No, I didn't. Yay, I'm proud of myself. So now I have everything. Of course, uh, we've got some Highland Heather DSP, some gorgeous grape ribbon. I thought, you know what? Let's make his hair purple posy. All these uh, purple purples work really nicely together. So I recognize that chickens don't really have purple hair, but I also recognize real chickens do not look like this. So I figured I could color his hair whatever colored I want, because obviously he's an imaginary chicken not a real chicken. <laughs> okay, so we may as well do his tail in the same purple posy blend marker here. Okay, and then I don't fuss too much about whether I'm in the lines or not. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. Okay, and then I'm using So Saffron. I'm leaving his beak. This is light So Saffron. So when you buy the blends markers, once you have them, you'll never turn back. Like you'll, you'll just can't imagine how you lived without them. If you don't know any better, you don't know any better. But once you have them, coloring becomes so easy because they are so smooth. And of course the color coordination is bang on. Okay, so that I'm using the light so saffron and then when you purchase them, you get them as a set of two. So for $12, you get both shades the light and the dark of that same color. So this is the uh, So Saffron. I'm gonna do the dark now. I think I'll color his nose, the dark So Saffron, just to give a bit of distinction there. And then I'll highlight these feathers down here. Just the artwork shows me kind of where I wanna highlight. And then maybe I'll do his little feet too. 
<laughs> okay, so it's I'm laughing because I did not put my do not disturb on my phone. And Allison, who I think is watching this live video, instead of commenting on the Facebook feed, she actually texted me a picture of chickens with that hair. But was the hair purple? I don't think so. This is a special Stampin' for Fun chicken. Look at him, look at him. Okay, but I'm not gonna die cut. To see, there's um, coordinating dies, and the dies do not just cut out the images. Okay, they also have all these like bonus images in here. So there's like this kind of chicken wire fence, there's like a barn, there's like um, a corn husk, a little sign, some little eggs, there's like little corn and little seeds. So anyway, and a little tree stump. So there's all these like bonus dies included. So it doesn't just cut out the, but we're using the, the chicken with the awesome hair. So um, since Allison pointed out to me that there are chickens with awesome hair like that, like what, what kind of chicken? Is there a special, special name? <laughs> okay, but I'm not gonna die cut it out yet because we're gonna use our product of the month and we are gonna adhere it behind. I'm so excited with what I'm gonna show you. Okay, maybe, I don't know whether you'll be as excited as I am, but how I'm gonna check what size I need, I'm basically putting the die here, and I will snip off the piece that I want. There we go. Okay, and then I can just pop it behind. Even because we use the blends marker, we can kind of see exactly where this goes. So I peel off one backing and I'm going to pop it right over. Okay, so we have our adhesive uh, foam adhesive sheet there and then I'm going to cut it out using the coordinating die and my die cut machine here. Cut and emboss machine. So let's cut and emboss. I'll move this so I think most of you know how this cut and emboss machine works, but just in case you don't, I will put it on here so that you can see. Okay, so don't be shy. If this is your first time, go ahead and ask questions. I know for those that watch all the time or are avid stampers, you know all the terminology I'm using, but I realize sometimes it might seem like I'm talking a different language. I love sharing stamping with new people, so don't be uh, shy to ask me questions at all. All the products that I'm using can be purchased from my online store. Just go to genevieve.stampinup.net, click the Shop Now button, and then you can browse away. So this is basically a press so that the die will cut is actually a blade and it will cut as it's going kind of rolling through the machine okay oh one of the crazy hair chickens is called the frizzle or polish chickens well there you go maybe we should give it a polish name okay so i just rolled it through well it looks like the die shifted a tiny bit but we'll just go with it let's just okay so see how i'm popping him out there Okay, so the foam adhesive sheet is still in place. The backing is still in place, so it is not sticky until I peel off the backing, which is what I did on these cards, right? After I rolled it out, I peeled off the backing and then I glued it right on. But we're gonna use this guy a different way. See, isn't he great? And he's got so much extra poof now. So much, like he's like, I guess it's good for him to have poof. He has poof in his hair, and now he's got poof in his profile because he's a little thicker. And um, let me move my cut and emboss machine out of the way. Okay. Da -da -da. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is I am going to peel it, but I'm not going to peel the complete backing off. There's like a little gap here between his legs there. I popped it out. Um, I'm not going to peel it all the way. I'm just going to peel it part way. And I'm just going to snip, snip this off here. Okay. I don't know. We could go maybe a little higher. So I'm not, I'm not peeling it all off just a little bit. Can you guys see what I'm doing there? Okay. So now this part is sticky. Okay. And so where's our, where's our little project here? Okay. So I'm going to stick him. 
right on here. Okay, so see how he's, so it's not sticky on this part, but I've made it sticky at the bottom. So that way he kind of like stands out and he's sturdier. Because if I had just used, oh, I think I had cut one. I don't have an example. But if I hadn't put the foam behind, he would be a little more floppy. It would still be fine. He would still stand up and everything, but it just gives a little more sturdiness and uh, definition by using the foam adhesive sheet. Isn't that neat? Okay, so let's finish this off. We need to use, uh, okay, I, I just wanna put this die away so that I don't lose it. Okay. Uh, we're going to need the stamp set. Okay, so here's what I was telling you. If you see anything you like, don't be shy and ask questions. You can also go to my online store. If you use this host code on the shopping cart page, um, if you order $60 or more, not only will Stampin' Up! give you a free gift during celebration, um, but I will also give you a gift as well. I'll be giving you a free package of our vellum doilies when you shop online using this host code. Okay, so that's just my little thanks for shopping online little gift. Oh, he's so cute. I'm not even done, this guy. Okay, well, he is pretty much done. The little chicken part is done. But we need to, we need to do a little more. Um, so since we did his hair in Purple Posy, all our purples work so nicely together. I'm going to use the Purple Posy cardstock. And let's... Uh, Let's do a little bit with him. So there's some cute sentiments in here. So I'm going to use the Hey Chick, Have a Happy Day. Okay, so let's, let's do that here. Yeah, Hey Chick, Have a Happy Day. Okay, so let's, oh. okay. So let's get uh, some little blocks to put these on. And then we're away to the races here. Okay, the have a happy day. And then uh, I like using the right size block. I like using small ones. Let's see whether this will work. Let's put this over here, maybe. Have a happy day. And then our hey chick. Okay, and then let's stamp with our with our black ink. Where are you, black ink? There you go. <laughs> awesome, right, Leslie? That's exactly, this whole thing is awesome. The fact that I use the adhesive sheets in a non-traditional way is awesome. The fact that this chicken has great hair is awesome. The fact that there's a dye that coordinates with this chicken, also awesome. I am super happy, friends, very happy. That's why I love to stamp and share stamping. This is way better than reading the news, way better. And then, Today's fun doesn't end because we have our Team Stick Stamper celebration tonight, so I'll be partying all day. Okay, so I just cut it at half an inch there. Let's do another one, a little half an inch one. And then we'll do some sentiments on it. So as I said, if you joined late and you didn't see and you wanted, you didn't hear me mention, I would love for you to check out our Team Stick Stampers party tonight. Um, just let me know that you're interested and I will give you the Zoom link so that you can check out our vibe because I would love to have you guys join the Team Stick Stampers and get all the extra perks that come along with it. Okay. I know, I was just thinking like, it's time to play with some springy colors and this is great if we want to make little Easter gifts, Easter treats. I'm sure there's some Easter treats that would probably be about the right size to fit in there too. Okay. There we go. Okay, so I don't think we need them quite that wide. So I'm just going to snip this here, snip it here. Maybe I'll put, I'll flag the end a little bit. Oh, this seems a little bit crooked. Okay, so we'll flag the end a little bit. Okay, now. Anybody can purchase the starter kit, as long as you, I mean, obviously are over 18, live in Canada. Um, almost, yeah, I mean, there's a few little things you can't 
can't own another business that that sells stamping products. Um, but pretty much anybody can purchase the starter kit. You don't have to do parties. You don't have to teach classes. Um, Stampin' Up! does not require you to do those things. So really, you can totally enjoy it for the discount. Maybe you're interested in um, getting more inspiration from other creative, being part of our creative community. So that is a great reason to purchase the starter kit. Okay. We have many, many people on our on our team that uh, that just really enjoy shopping with the discount. So all of that is excellent reason to purchase the starter kit. Never mind that you get constant creative um, ideas because we have guest stampers come in each month to share with the team. This month was fun. We had Brian King come to our team and and share some projects. Next month, we've got Rachel Tessman coming. So um, we just really, really have fun with the stamping. So I hope you'll be able to join us. Okay, so there we go. Isn't that a great Easter sort of treat? I mean, I'm sure we could dress it up more. You can imagine, oh, here. I made some for my family for Valentine's Day. So this same exact same measurements that I shared, but um, yeah, I gave them to my family for Valentine's Day. So I used different colored paper. This is the True Love DSP, the Sweetheart Punch, right? But see, change up the colors for a different occasion and bam, whole new project. Okay. So we are down to the last couple weeks of celebration. So I don't want you guys to miss out. Um, I will be having a, so next week will be different guys. I know you're used to joining me um, Tuesday afternoon on my Facebook page, 2 p.m. Eastern time. But next week I'll still be going live 2 p.m. Eastern, but it will be in my Facebook group, not on my page. So if you have not joined my Facebook group yet, you should join. Just search up uh, Stampin' for Fun with Jen. Okay, Stampin' for Fun with Jen. If you search that in Facebook, you'll see there's a Facebook group, Stampin' for Fun with Jen. And that is where I am going to do the Facebook party celebration finale next week, Tuesday, 2 p.m. Okay, so same time, just a different channel so to speak um and then we'll have some just more projects to show i know normally on tuesday at two i just show one but when i'm doing a facebook party i definitely like to show more okay so that is what i wanted to show you but hopefully over these past three weeks you've gotten some great ideas on how to use those adhesive foam sheets um so when you're shopping don't forget to add the add these to your shopping cart so that you will always have some on hand whenever you want to give a little pop to your projects. Okay, isn't that fun? So let me flip this around here and see if there's any questions or comments. Um, well, sorry, I'm trying not to move too, <laughs> too suddenly. Sorry, I know it makes people dizzy. Uh, what else did I want to tell you? Don't be shy about commenting and sharing this video. It is a way that I get to share my stamping fun with others. I'm always looking for new friends to stamp with, so don't be shy to refer your friends and family to come and check me out. Um, you can share, you can uh, join my newsletter list, you can join my Facebook group, you can join a class with me and stamp with me. Um, so those of you that comment and share, I will enter you into a little drawing and it's just my fun way of saying thanks for sharing the journey with me. So I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday afternoon. Stay safe, stay warm, and we'll see you next week at the Facebook party. And don't be shy to reach out if you have any questions. I hope these little boxes inspired you today. Look at this awesome chicken. Okay, have a great afternoon. Bye.